right, good morning guys and uh, I'm uh, sharing today win the money game in uh, real life and uh, I would like to share this one because if you can remember the time that you really were happy on uh, doing something or most of the time uh, a lot of people are happy when they are playing games so when was the last time you actually played a game you gave your all with uh, all your heart out uh, you're giving it all because you're having fun you wanted to win and it's the same with our financial situation it's the same with our career reaching our goals and uh, getting rich we can treat it like a game and I remember the first time that I actually played Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow 101 and I didn't know what to do and after that first game I realized that okay this can be done in uh, the next game and it's uh, also the same with um, the first time that I played the Monopoly game so those games are related to money but some people cannot relate to this game of money right? but most of the time in real life we're actually inside the money game right so if we go to work we don't realize that we are actually uh, in a money game in real life that uh, we, we are trying to win right? so I remember one time one of my uh, managers in um, uh, at work and at that time I was to handle a new team right so this team is actually just fresh out of the training so for you guys who don't know, I work as a supervisor and I handle a team of agents, uh, call center agents, right? So there was this one time that I was to handle a new team fresh from the uh, technical training and then my uh, boss, actually the super boss, <laughs> because uh, it's the boss of my immediate supervisor. Okay? So this super boss actually told me that it's going to be exciting to handle a new team just to fresh from the training and it was my, also my first time to handle a team that's actually fresh from a uh, product training that uh, literally has no experience on um, the actual operations on uh, the account that I'm working on so he said that uh, super boss uh, actually said that you can treat them like your babies <laughs> your children right? and serve them how they grow up and uh, it's uh, similar to having children he also said that for the most part that uh, these agents are actually challenged I can remember the things that uh, he said that you can show these guys like they're just playing a game you can show them their stats and you can uh, strategize you can both uh, work on strategizing how he can actually win right so that actually uh, stick with me and then uh, just this morning when I was thinking that I'm going to share about winning the money game in real life I remember my personal business coach 10 years ago and we were discussing about uh, you know just uh, some small stuff and we love we both love video games and at that time we like playing similar to what the mobile legends today and uh, if uh, some of you guys would know uh, the game dota dota and right now there's a dota 2 so before it was the first game that actually created that game right so right now if, if you don't know about that uh, it's similar to the mobile legends and this guy this personal coach I just uh, discovered that when he plays this game he actually has a calculator <laughs> beside him right so is that just crazy right so someone playing a game like that with a calculator so you can imagine someone playing Mobile Legends with a calculator on his table right? <laughs> so he's uh, actually calculating uh, the energy and the amount of damage that he can do to the enemy so when when I compare this one this uh, games to also the money games you need to understand uh, the things on how it works so let's say you're going to play 
say the uh, cash flow 101 all right so there's this rules that you have to first get out of the uh, rat race before you're going to go to the next stage which, which is the fast track so also in the monopoly game there's these rules that you have to own those number of properties before you would be able to develop it so I remember when I was starting out as an entrepreneur there were times that I was actually studying accounting books all right so my uh, late older brother is actually an accountant my sister actually is also an accountant my cousin is an accountant and I finished uh, engineering all right so I guess I'm just the different person that's not an accountant right but even if they were accountants I actually asked a few questions about uh, about that subject but I also study on my own and it's the same with if we want to actually win the money game in real life we have to understand the rules of money right there was this time I think I mentioned this one also before that uh, I was in a group chat and this person that's actually a millionaire in uh, investing actually said that it's just said that uh, most people are actually earning a lot of money but still don't understand what is finance all right so if we don't understand finance we don't understand how money works even if you're just going to earn a lot of money you're just going to lost it in just a few months days or in a few years right? and we won't we don't want that one right so we want to be successful in the money game in real life we have to understand how money works how this game or uh, the rules of the game one of that is really learning how to learning how money works I just also remember uh, when I'm uh, playing games not only like uh, this uh, cash flow 101 or the monopoly even uh, other games I always relate that one as well in real life and uh, there was this book that I encountered on our local bookstore. It, the title was that our children are okay when uh, they are playing video games. And then when I read about that, there was a study that shows that people that are truly playing games, they fare better on uh, workplaces and they also have this sense of teamwork because they were able to apply that when uh, playing a game. Uh, teamwork critical thinking and finding a solution on the <laughs> face of adversity you know when, when you're actually losing uh, the game and then you just found a solution how to win it so people are also able to practice critical thinking when they are playing games all right so that is what I'm sharing today guys so let's uh, play the money game in uh, real life and let's uh, win it and uh, give yourself some time as well to play a few games and understand and relate that to how you can achieve your goals dreams in real life right? there was also one thing that my mentor actually shared that he doesn't play games so it actually depends with us guys if you like to play games if you don't want to play games if, if, if it doesn't work for you because I also agree with him that a lot of people are actually playing games and just so immersed on that game they unconsciously think that uh, they are winning they are actually being productive right? and uh, we know these stories that a lot of people are actually children that uh, stay on a video game for like straight two days or three days and <laughs> there was actually a it happened that uh, this kid actually got ill because of uh, playing games. Though I actually suggested that uh, we play a game, but uh, make it a conscious intention that you would want to improve yourself. So j just the same with me. As aside from just having fun, I also make it a point that I'm learning from the game itself and I'm looking for something that I can use in uh, real life as well. Right? So that's it guys. and. Uh, I'm uh, inviting you guys to my uh, free Facebook group Business Basics for Aspiring Entrepreneurs and I'm very excited as well to share to you guys because I'm launching a free training on affiliate marketing so if you're interested about that 
uh, go to my cover photo and uh, I have a link to the business basics for aspiring entrepreneurs group and if you like this video as well you like this content share this uh, to someone you can also like this video and comment with uh, what is your takeaway on my sharing today and thank you so much guys and a good morning